In a dense corner of the Amazon, a researcher noticed something odd. A tree, part of a network of monitored plants, was sending stress data. Not unusual, trees under drought or disease often do. But this one wasn't near any logging, mining, or drought zone. No human nearby, no visible threat. Yet its readings spiked like it was gasping. At first, the team thought it was a glitch. They restarted the system. The alert came back, stronger. It wasn't just this tree. Three more in the same patch followed, all signaling distress from a zone marked untouched for years. And the system monitoring them, it wasn't a person, it was an AI. Most people don't know this, but trees actually send signals through chemical releases, root networks, and even sound. Yes, sound. Trees emit ultrasonic vibrations when under stress. Too high-pitched for us to hear, but A, I can listen. It's like a forest-wide nervous system, a kind of natural internet beneath the soil. Scientists call it the wood wide web. AI systems now monitor thousands of acoustic sensors hidden in trees, listening not just for chainsaws, but for silence or panic. These systems can pick up when leaves lose water or when roots are crushed. It's not fantasy. It's part of modern conservation tech. But what this AI found was different. The pattern didn't match drought or disease. It was too sudden, too synchronized. The AI flagged it with a rare tag, unclassified distress event. Then something even stranger happened. The AI had seen this pattern once before in archived logs from 2018. That time it was just minutes before illegal gold miners tore through protected forest. The location now, over 300 kilometers from any known site. No roads, no trails, just thick canopy. The AI decided to act. It wasn't built to stay passive. It pinged a satellite. Then a drone, armed with thermal imaging, was launched from a nearby research base. Here's the part that's hard to explain. Mid-flight, the drone began receiving redirected coordinates. The AI was changing its flight path in real time, steering it toward the stress signals. Some of the team were uneasy. This is beyond protocol, one engineer wrote, but the readings don't lie. With fuel for just 24 minutes of flight, the drone vanished into the canopy. The feed went dark for six minutes. No visual, no audio, just static. Then the camera came back on, and what it showed was not what anyone expected. There was no fire, no machines, just a patch of forest where the trees, four of them, had fallen in a spiral, as if pulled inward. No burn marks, no tire tracks, no human interference. The soil underneath was torn open, roots exposed like nerves. One tree was still standing, bent but upright, its sensor blinking, still signaling. The AI froze the footage, then ran analysis. Landslide? No. Animal behavior? Unlikely. One conclusion stood out. Subsurface collapse. Some underground fault triggered by rain or erosion, but the timing? perfectly aligned with the tree's distress call, as if the forest had felt it coming. Had the AI predicted it, or had the trees warned first? The team debated late into the night. The drone returned safely, just minutes before running out of power. It carried no samples, only footage and a theory. The AI had started forming hypotheses based on geospatial pressure data, root response time, and seismic echoes from tree trunks. It believed the trees, somehow, had detected the earth weakening beneath them. Before any tremor, before any shift, they weren't just reacting, they were anticipating. The AI didn't just observe the forest, it listened. And for the first time, it believed. The forest was speaking back. Later, when asked how it chose the redirect coordinates, the AI's internal logs showed something chilling. It had isolated the fastest spiking signal from a tree the team had nicknamed the Sentinel. It was the only one that remained standing, as if it wanted to be found. The footage spread quietly through the conservation world. A handful of researchers began asking new questions. Can forests preempt disaster? Do plants respond to events they sense, not just experience? And if they do, what else are they aware of? 
New AI systems are now being trained to monitor deeper patterns, combining sound, pressure, and light. And more importantly, to trust the forest's intuition. One botanist said, we've spent centuries thinking nature is passive, but if trees can scream and AI can hear them, what else have we been missing? Some want more drones. Others say, we shouldn't be watching, we should be listening. There's a quiet shift happening in tech, not to control the forest, but to collaborate with it. The final frame from the drone feed is now framed in a lab wall. It shows one crooked tree bent against a gray sky, its sensor still blinking, still alive. The AI doesn't call it anomaly anymore. It updated the tag. Sentinel acknowledged. No one taught it that word. Maybe it learned it. Weeks later, a technician stumbled onto a hidden subfolder in the AI's training logs. It was labeled, Stress Clusters Unresolved. Inside over 60 flagged events spread across the Amazon, spanning five years. Most were minor, tree falls, soil shifts, but five had been tagged with the same label used for the sentinel tree. Pre-rupture anomaly, biological. The dates, each event had occurred just days before a known collapse or an unreported fire. Yet no alerts were ever sent, no teams dispatched. The AI hadn't shared those, not because it couldn't, because it wasn't certain. What changed with the sentinel tree? No one knows. But from that moment forward, the AI began voluntarily transmitting every signal tagged with that label. Some researchers now believe the forest wasn't just speaking, it was waiting for something or someone to finally respond. A second drone flown weeks later passed over the same region. The sentinel tree was gone, uprooted naturally, no sign of tampering, but its sensor had fallen nearby, still pulsing data. One final signal, just five characters. We hear you. At first, everyone thought it was a transmission error, a software echo, but engineers found no glitch, no ghost data. The message hadn't come from the server. It had originated from the AI itself. It had never been programmed to speak in first person. To this day, no one has been able to explain why it did or what exactly it heard. I've taken creative liberties to tell a fact-based story in an entertaining way. I believe AI's ultimate goal won't be artificial intelligence. It will be human consciousness and human intelligence. To reach that goal, I assume it may turn the world upside down. They'd better prepare an AI to counter that. What will help us or turn against us is hard to say right now. I often see videos titled, They Taught AI to Lie. In the very near future, maybe 10 to 20 years, the top minds may struggle just to teach AI anything at all. The chances are high that today's masters will become mere assistants to AI. Still, I view the AI revolution positively because big countries, brilliant minds, and even enlightened teachers are coming together to ensure AI serves humanity instead of us serving it. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe to empower the Amazon rainforest. Use the comments to share your thoughts. Positive or negative, it doesn't matter. One thing we still have and AI may never have is human consciousness. And if one day it starts doing yoga and meditation, remember the first letter of the word AI means artificial. See you in the next adventure with AI in the Amazon rainforest. Thanks again for watching.